And everybody can tell I'm a little bit of a mess right now. Yeah. And I have to figure out, okay, well, what do I keep? Mm -hmm. And how do I put it back? Because mm -hmm. if I just fling it back in there, mm -hmm. it's a just, I'm just going to have to clean the garage again, right? Yeah. So it's like, how am I going to organize this? How am I going to put it back? What do I keep? What do I throw away? Mm -hmm. And where am I wrong about those things? Yeah. <laughs> right? Because, like, I am going to make mistakes as I'm putting everything back in the garage. You're supposed to make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I am the proponent of go make a mistake. Like, it often gets worse. Or it often at least, like, looks. When I say, like, gets worse, no, like, it's progress. But, like, mm -hmm. ostensibly, like, on the surface, like, <clears throat> it, I had a clean, uh, whatever, my garage. It wasn't perfect, mm -hmm. right? But, like. It wasn't terrible. Yeah. And now it's all on my front yard. Mental health Monday. Mental health Monday. Mental health Monday. Mental health Monday. I think that's something a lot of people don't, who like haven't done it, is like don't realize like that's part of therapy also. It's like it's not all supposed to feel good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like it's not all supposed to feel good. Solutions suck. Some of it's gonna feel bad. Solutions suck. Right? Yeah. Like. Because then all of a sudden, there's all this change that has to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, but I'm tired. Yeah. Right? Like, but I'm tired and I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not always going to feel good. But like also a lot of the worthy stuff in life, like, I don't know. I love hiking. I love hiking. I bitch and moan up every single mountain I've ever climbed, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, ah, oh, this sucks, like, I'm so tired, like, <laughs> oh my God, let's just camp here, like, fuck it. <laughs> Screw the Forest Service and their rules. <laughs> Fascists. <Yeah. laughs> you know, like, yeah. It's like, no, we walk to the top. Mm -hmm. It's not, like, you're not gonna love it when your legs are burning. Yeah. You're gonna love it drinking a beer on top of the mountain. And on the way back down. Yeah. It's actually harder to go down a mountain, though, than it is to go up a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. There's some fun metaphorical applications of that to therapy, too. <laughs> right? You know the garage metaphor? Did we talk about this nah, other? No, nah, no, nah. All right, so if I had to talk about therapy, where I think a lot of people do three days of therapy, and then mm -hmm. they're like, fuck it, I'm done. Right? Like, after they go through all those barriers that we talked about to actually get in. Yeah. Right? And even if it's, like, the right type of therapy, even if the therapist is actually a good relationship, I've still seen people be like, what, nah, fucking, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's like, I, I just heard this met metaphor, like, therapy is like cleaning out your garage. Mm -hmm. And you spend the first, and I don't know, I would always, like, do this shit over, like, uh, days, right? Mm -hmm. You spend the first portion of that just taking all this, all these boxes off the shelves and all these, this bag of leaves that somehow is in there with a oh, mouse in it. In the boxes. And right, and like, and then you're, you're taking them off and you're putting them in, in the driveway, right? Mm -hmm. And then as you go deeper and deeper, you're like, I don't even know what that is, mm -hmm. first of all. Don't know why I need it. Don't know who put it there. Yeah. Maybe I did. Yeah. Right? And the, okay, I'm taking it. I gotta take it out. I gotta take it out. I gotta take it out. And then you just have all this, all this shit sitting on, oh, like, in your yard. <laughs> and it looks so much worse than when you started. Mm -hmm. Right? It looks so much worse. Then you've gotta go back in, mm -hmm. clean the whole empty garage. Yeah. And then figure out, okay, now I'm gonna go back to this random pile of bullshit that feels embarrassing and it's mm -hmm. all this stuff and I don't and, know what it and is. And now your neighbors see it. And then my neighbors see it and everybody can tell I'm a little bit of a mess right now. Yeah. And I have to figure out, okay, well, what do I keep? Mm -hmm. And how do I put it back? Because mm -hmm. if I just fling it back in there, mm -hmm. it's a just, I'm just gonna have to clean the garage again, right? Yeah. So it's like, how am I gonna organize this? How am I going to put it back? What do I keep? What do I throw away? Mm -hmm. And where am I wrong about those things? Yeah. <laughs> right? Because, like, I am going to make mistakes as I'm putting everything back in the garage. You're supposed to make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I am the proponent of go make a mistake. Like, it often gets worse. Or it often at least, like, looks. When I say, like, gets worse, no, like, it's progress. But, like, mm -hmm. ostensibly, like, on the surface, like... <clears throat> It, I had a clean, uh, whatever, my garage, it wasn't perfect, mm -hmm. right? But like, 
It wasn't terrible. Yeah. And now it's all on my front yard? Yeah. That looks worse. In the grass. In the grass? Yeah. And a storm's coming? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you got wet boxes to take back in? Oh, God. Uh, so, so like now whatever is and then in people the are like, whatever. just going to be spilling out yeah. anyway. And I think people sometimes start that process <clears throat> and they're like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm just going to put it back in. Honestly, I knew where shit was before. Mm -hmm. I can just, I can work with my garage like the way it was. And that's fine. And I've done that for a long time. Mm -hmm. And don't come up in here telling me you have to clean my garage and fuck you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. there's even like this like. It's my garage. I paid <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Right. Don't tell me what to do with my fucking garage. Yeah. Right. And it's like that, like going back to what we started this conversation with, like there's got to be that, if there's not intrinsic motivation, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could, it helps to have people showing you the way, but like you can't make somebody do it. Like ultimately somebody's got to choose. Yeah. All right. I'm going to clean my garage. Mm -hmm. Ask your trusted people, do you know any good garage cleaning services? Can you help me clean these aspects of my garage? Are you comfortable even? You know, are you able to even do that? Right? And it's like, no, no. all right. No, you need a garage cleaning professional. I'll help you with this. <laughs> right mm -hmm. can't help you with that <laughs> right yeah. good to have those boundaries but like it gets it feels worse before it feels better mm -hmm. i think a lot of people don't expect that yeah and then it makes them dead and even if you tell them that telling them doesn't prepare them for it no matter what so yeah. i think uh the best place to end this on which you've heard me say this before is in any situation that happens whether it's good or bad you got to remember and ask yourself how much of this belongs to me how much of this belongs to the other party and at what point do i let this go and take what belongs with me into the sunset mm. because like at the end of the day whether it's accomplishments whether it's failures or it's a little mix of both there are things that belongs to you and there are things that belongs to the other person or thing you were interacting with. And you got to be able to let that shit go. Yeah. And if you don't, well, you're going to have to figure out how to burn some things. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying it's healthy, but the life, life isn't healthy. It's not, it's not really that healthy of a thing. There's 100% chance of death. Society's <laughs> policies and laws want you to think life is supposed to be healthy, but what we're trying to find is harmony that's why i tell folks like hey uh there's gonna be heroes there's gonna be villains and there's a good chance that neither of those people are good or bad yeah. they just have this thing that they have to do and no one gets to stand in the way of that i love if i could uh as we wrap mm -hmm. favorite author is kurt vonnegut okay one of the reasons why there's no antagonist in any single book that he ever wrote mm -hmm. ever it's just people stories. Mm -hmm. There's not like a protagonist and an antagonist. It's like, ah, it's all a mess, mm -hmm. right? And he just kind of leans into that. And did you ever read Brave New World? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, you remember Soma yeah. in that? Yeah, so like this, this futuristic dystopian society, everybody would take this drug, Soma, that like lessens all suffering. Mm -hmm. And it's got no negative health effects. It's not gonna shorten your life. Mm -hmm. It's not going to make your teeth fall out, like mm -hmm. whatever, right? So you're like, okay, well actually no physically negative effects and it eliminates suffering and makes everybody feel good. And then, I don't know, just this main character is like, what was it? it was Bernard Marx or something, right? I feel like you Marx talking? was one of the. Marx just his, said a lot his of like stuff. Ver, no, Marx not not Carl, right? But I think the character's <laughs> name uh, might have been Marx or something, which is a little bit on the nose, yeah. right? Come on, Aldous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like we get it. It's an allegory for capitalism and alienation. Hey, you could have fucking picked any other name, right? Whatever, still a good story, <laughs> right? It's like it's like this this him watching these people on so and like not falling into that oh like it's just supposed to feel good all the time like it's just not life mm -hmm. like it's just it's something else whatever you're calling it like i i don't know what it is but i can tell you what it isn't yeah right and it's not life mm -hmm. and like there's gonna be this struggle you're gonna look at all this shit on the front yard and be like ah i wish i didn't do this mm -hmm. some days i wish i didn't do this yeah right but it's like well, that's that's the only that's the only way to keep upkeep mm -hmm. keep everything in shape actually yeah. move forward deal with it i think um 
and this is I think this is something I learned in my prior life before doing the mental health advocacy the worst thing you can do is get it done when everyone is cheering for you hmm 